of reorganizing the executive branch to make it less wasteful and more productive. My next guest is a chief executive. He says this is exactly what new CEOs do. They force departments to make cuts across the board. Joining me now is Swiss America Trading Corps Chairman Craig Smith. Craig, the government has gotten way too big. We can't afford it. But it, can a business guy really get government to listen to him? He has to get eight Democrat senators to pass the budget. That's going to be the big t challenge, Emac. And, and look, I love Nancy Pelosi and the other gentlemen's comments about how this is going to cut programs. This is a blueprint. The details won't even be laid out till May. So they're just speculating on that. But when you look at the, the world-class team, and I know you cover business, guys like Rex Tillerson and, and, and people like uh, uh, Steve Mnuchin and, and Scott Pruitt, and, and we go right through the list, Tom, Tom Price, Ben Carson, all these cuts came as a direct result of an executive order where President Trump said, I want you to find ways to make your departments more efficient and more effective. And, th and think about it. Do you think Rust Rex Tillerson, who headed up the largest oil and gas company in the world, EMAC, just said, well, we'll just cut 26 percent and we'll worry about it later? He knows how to do it. Here's, and matter of fact, most of it's going to be foreign aid. And so this whole nonsensical idea that Mr. Trump is going to send children out on the streets and it's going to hurt the homeless and the poor people, it's, it's rhetoric, it's demagoguery, and it gets us nowhere. And by the way, on this budget, we don't increase spending a penny, we don't decrease spending a penny. We reprioritize. Is there any American outside of the Beltway that believes that if we get rid of Big Bird and NewsHour or the NEA that the world is going to have a, quote, hollowed out economy and endanger working families? That's Pelosi's quote. That type of language is ridiculous, it's, it's harmful, and it doesn't benefit the future growth yeah, in America. And the argument has been if Hollywood wants it, Hollywood Studios could pick it up and if they think it's That's accepted, right. right. So, you know, the problem is that emergency spending levels from 9-11 and the financial collapse have stayed in place for far too long, that emergency me measures were treated as spending for growth measures. I mean, I think government spending overall should be at 17 percent of GDP to survive. The president is bringing these agency budgets back to where they were 10 years ago. Yeah, and that's a great point. Let's let's take the EPA, for example. It's been around since Richard Nixon. It's it's bloated to 15,376 employees. And think about that. We're, we're talking about cutting back 3,200 employees. And, oh, my gosh, now the water is going to be dirty, the air we won't be able to breathe. Hey, every time the EPA finds a puddle of water on a farmer's property, he shuts it down because the EPA shuts it down because it's a wetland. Then you have millions of dollars spent in the, in the courts fighting it. The poor farmer can't raise his cattle or his wheat or what have you. The EPA is incredibly destructive, incredibly bloated, and needs to be rearranged. And that's all President Trump is doing now. He's saying, look, let's go into these agencies. They They've grown way too big, way too wasteful. You have dupl duplicity and effort. Let's go find out where the inefficiencies are, because look, long term, we're going to have to worry about the value of the U.S. dollar if these deficits continue. And I know it sounds crazy to believe that President Trump can eliminate 18, 19 trillion dollars worth of debt in eight years. I understand that. I, I think that is a, a bold. But let's say he eliminated 30 or 40 percent of that and the increase of cash flow that that would cause for the government. I, I mean, it's just just, it's just a reprioritization, EMAC, and just boil it down to your listeners. If I live on $1,500 a month, and my gas bill, because it's been real cold back east, just went from 50 to 100 bucks, I better decide to get rid of the cable bill, or I better start thinking about not going out to the movies. We are just rearranging the priorities, some priorities that, as you said, have gotten very bloated and out of hand and need to be resized and brought back to being efficient. Hey, Craig, it's always so great to have you on the show. Please come back soon, okay? Hey, great to see you. Thanks. Same here. Coming up, a sheriff's method of catching...